Hello, my fabulous fifth graders. Today's lesson is on ordering whole numbers and decimals. Our I can statement today is, I can compare and order whole numbers and decimals. Here's our first example. The table shows the cost to build three National Football League stadiums. Order the cost of the stadium from greatest to least. One way is to use place value. This is, again, probably the most convenient and easy way to compare decimals. To use place value, you must line up the numbers by their decimal points. There is no other way to compare decimals using place value. You must line up the decimal points so that you can connect the dots. Once they are lined up by the decimal point, you can compare the digits in the greatest place. So I see in the greatest place, the hundreds place. I have a three, a four, and a three. Four is greater than three, so I know that the greatest is Ford Field in Detroit, Michigan. Now that we've taken care of the hundreds place, we're going to compare the next greatest place. We've taken care of the hundreds. Now let's check out the tens. I have a six and a five. I know that six is greater than five and five is greater than three. So number two would be Ivanesco Field in Colorado. This would mean that Quest Field in Seattle would be number three. Another way is to use a number line. A number line is an excellent way to understand a value of a number. We're going to use this number line to place dots to represent the approximate locations of the decimals. So, if you remember our values, they are 364 and 2 tenths, 430 and 0 tenths, and 350 and 0 tenths. So let's see. My first one here, 364 and 2 tenths. I've got 350, 375, 400. Where would 364 and 2 tenths go? Well, I know 364 is somewhere in between 350 and 375. I'm going to break this space between 350 and 375 into smaller pieces so I can accurately represent the location of these decimals. So this would be 350, 355, 360, 365, 370. This would be 375. Where would 364 and 2 tenths be? Well, 55, 60, 65. I know that it would be close to 365, but not quite. So I'm going to place it right about here. Now my next one is 430. Well, I know that here I have 425. Next is 450. Again, so that I can accurately place this value on the number line, I'm going to break this into smaller pieces. 425, 430, 435, 440, 
445 and 450. So where would 430 go? That would go right here on this line. And next comes 350. That's an easy one. They have already placed that on the number line for me. So by using this number line, it's very easy to see that the cost in millions of dollars from greatest to least, the greatest cost would be here, 430 million dollars. Next would be here, 364 and two tenths of a million dollars. And finally, 350 million dollars. Here's another example. Four trees in a state forest had heights of 22 and 65 hundredths, 23 and 8 tenths, 22 and 23 and 25 hundredths of a foot. We're going to order these heights from least to greatest. To solve this using place value, I must line up the numbers by their decimal points. Each of these numbers has a different number of digits in order to make sure that I'm comparing digits in the same with the same place value. I must use the decimal point. So I'm going to start over here with my first value. I have 22 and 65 hundredths. Now my next value is 23 and 8 tenths. This number only has three digits. In order to make sure I'm comparing the correct place values, I'm going to place my decimal first, then write my digits, 23 and 8 tenths. My next value is 22. Now that one's kind of confusing, but I know 22 is a whole number, and I know a decimal point comes right after the ones place. So 22 would look like that. And my final value that I need to compare is 23 and 25 hundredths. Now, it's slightly confusing to compare all these values because they have a different number of digits. So I am going to annex zeros so that all numbers have the same final place value. So here, where I only have three digits, I'll annex a zero so that it has the same final place value. And here, this number only has two digits. I will annex two zeros so that the total number of digits of all the values I'm comparing is the same. Now my job of comparing is much easier. Let's see, I'm going to go back and double check. I need to order it from least to greatest. So I'll start with the greatest place value in the tens place, two, 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 two. That doesn't really help me. So I have to go to the next greatest place value, 2, 3, 2, 3. I'm looking for the least, so I see a 2 and a 2. These two are tied. I need to go to the next greatest place value to break that tie and see which one is the least. I have a 6 and a 0. So the least number is 22. So I have taken care of this number. Hmm. That means, so if this is the least, this one would be second least. 
Now, I'm going to compare these digits with threes in the ones place. I've got a three here and a three here. Those are tied. So I go to the next greatest place value. I have an eight and a two. I know two is less than eight. So I know this will be number three and this would be number four. So when it asks me the greatest number, the greatest number is 23 and 8 tenths. The heights in feet from least to greatest are 22 feet, 22 and 65 hundredths, 23 and 25 hundredths, and 23 and 8 tenths. Here are a few guided practice problems for you to practice what we've talked about today. Remember, you can either plot your values on a number line or you can line up the values by the decimal point and annex zeros to put them in order from least to greatest. Brings us to the end of today's lesson. Our lesson was on ordering whole numbers and decimals and our I can statement was, I can compare and order whole numbers and decimals.